Did you know that there are actually two types of crater lakes? When volcanoes explosively erupt, they can create cauldron-like hollows that are filled with water. Such formations are logically called volcanic crater lakes. The other variety occurs when a meteor slams into the Earth and creates a circular lake. That formation is known as an impact crater lake. You'll find both types of formations in this list of the 16 most epic crater lakes on Earth. Lake Rom. Found in the Golan Heights, this lake is thought to have formed inside the crater of an extinct volcano. With no discernible outlet, geologists say the lake is replenished by an underground spring and rainwater. The area surrounding the lake has proven to be an archaeological treasure trove, with evidence of human activity dating back to the Paleolithic Epoch. Did you know Lake Rom appears in Talmudic legend regarding Noah? It was said to be one of three underground springs that opened up during the Great Flood. According to the legend, the spring didn't close again until the event was finished. Rano Cow, Easter Island. This location in the southeastern Pacific Ocean is best known for the monolithic Moai heads that are scattered across the landscape. But Easter Island is also the home of a crater lake that is one of only three natural bodies of fresh water there. It's located within Rano Cow, an extinct volcano that rises nearly 1,100 feet or 324 meters. While the lake is found above sea level, it's still about 660 feet or 200 meters below the crater, which measures nearly one mile mile across, or 1.6 kilometers. The lake and Ranu Kau are found within Rapa Nui National Park, near the ruins of an ancient ceremonial village. Kelimutu, Indonesia. This volcano in central Flores Island is unique for containing three amazing crater lakes at its summit. Two lakes are separated by a common crater wall and can display colors of red or green. The third lake is located to the west and is typically blue. The colors of each lake change independently. Scientists say the hues result from the presence of major elements in the water, including iron and manganese. Along with their unique appearance, the lakes have some unique names as well. The two adjacent Recent lakes are known as Bewitched Lake and the Lake of Young Men and Maidens. The solitary blue lake is called the Lake of Old People. Which name would you most identify with? Lake Botos. Costa Rica. This country is famous for its amazing wildlife and picturesque landscapes. It's also famous as the home of one of the world's most active volcanoes. Poas Volcano is located in a national park and rises nearly 8,900 feet or 2,708 meters. Since 1828, it's erupted at least 40 times, and that behavior is likely to persist. Two crater lakes are found near the summit. The northernmost lake is called the Hot Lagoon, and it's one of the world's most acidic lakes. Lake Botos is located to the south in a cloud forest. An inactive crater contains this lake, which holds cold, clear water. Which lake would you choose, the Hot Lagoon or Lake Botos? Pingualuit Crater, Canada. This was once called the Chubb Crater and the New Quebec Crater, which should tell you where it's located. With a diameter of about 2.14 miles, or 3.4 kilometers, researchers say it could be more than a million years old. But for impact craters, that's relatively young by geological standards. When a meteor slammed into the planet, it created this formation that plunged some 1,300 feet deep, or 400 meters. It contains one of North America's deepest lakes, at 876 feet, or 267 meters. With no inlets or outlets discovered, it receives water from snow and rain. As a result, the lake has some of the purest fresh water in the world. Experts say that the water maintains its transparency for about 115 feet, or 35 meters. And the lake is so perfectly circular that airplane pilots have long used it as a landmark and navigational tool. Askia, Iceland. Did you know that NASA has trained its astronauts at this remote location? That's because the central highlands of Iceland has landscapes that can simulate moon-like terrain. The name Askia refers to several calderas that can rise more than 4,900 feet or 1,510 meters. When the area experienced a tremendous eruption in 1875, it created one such caldera that now contains a large lake. At 220 meters or 722 feet, it's the second deepest lake in the country and covers about 12 square kilometers, or 4.6 square miles. Researchers have noted that its waters were originally warm, but today the lake is frozen over for much of the year. Not surprisingly, the scenic location has become a big draw for visitors. 
Blue Fire Crater, Indonesia. The Ijen Volcano Complex is found in East Java, Indonesia. At the active crater of Kawa is a large lake that contains beautiful turquoise waters. But don't dive in, because looks are deceiving. This is recognized as the largest highly acidic crater lake on Earth. At 3,280 feet, or one kilometer wide, it has a depth of 660 feet, or 200 meters, and is the site of several sulfur mining operations. The area became a hot tourist spot after National Geographic ran a story about the electric blue flames of Egen. When sulfuric gas seeps from crevices at temperatures of 1,112 degrees Fahrenheit or 600 degrees Celsius, it ignites a blue colored fire. Mount Zhao, Japan. This is a complex volcano that is found in northern Honshu, the largest main island of Japan. It's the most active volcano there, and located centrally within its crater lake called Okama, formed in the 1720s. It's also known as the Five Color Pond because its color changes along with the weather. At about 200 feet deep, or 60 meters, its diameter measures around 1,200 feet, or 360 meters, and is a big tourist attraction. Ski resorts in the area are well known for so called snow monsters that appear during midwinter. When the snow falls on ice formations, it creates weird figures that appear like misshapen monsters. Lonar Lake, India. Here's an impact crater that was created when an asteroid crashed to Earth sometime during the Pleistocene Epoch. The crater rim has a diameter of about 5,900 feet, or 1.8 kilometers, and contains water that is both alkaline and saline. The location in western India hosts a wide variety of plant life and wildlife, including birds, gazelles, and monitor lizards. In 2015, the Indian government established the Lonar Wildlife Sanctuary that encompasses about 1 1.48 square miles, or 3.8 square kilometers. There's also a great diversity of minerals within the area as well. Scientists say that the lake's soil contains minerals that were identified in moon rocks, brought back from the Apollo missions. Because of that, Lonar may provide greater insight to impact craters on the moon and Mars. Lake Segara Anak Indonesia. The Samalas eruption of 1257 CE is regarded as one of the largest volcanic eruptions in recorded history. It happened on Lombok Island, and it resulted in this caldera that is located about 6,575 feet, or 2,004 meters, above sea level. Along with its unusual crescent shape, the lake contains water that is very warm. Temperatures of 72 degrees Fahrenheit, or 22 degrees Celsius, aren't typically found at such high elevations. Researchers say the anomaly is caused by hot magma that runs underneath the lake. Sagara Anak translates as Child of the Sea, which refers to its resemblance to blue sea waters. Quilatoa, Ecuador. More than 600 years ago, this two mile or three kilometer wide caldera was formed in the wake of a catastrophic eruption in the Ecuadorian Andes. This crater lake is around 820 feet deep, or 250 meters, and is noted for its greenish waters. The unusual coloration is the result of dissolved mineral deposits in the area. Located nearly 11,500 feet above sea level, or 3,500 meters, Quilatoa is quickly becoming a popular tourist attraction. Lake Pinatubo, Philippines. Located about 56 miles, or 90 kilometers, from Manila, this lake was formed by the eruption of Mount Pinatubo in 1991. That event is described as the world's second largest terrestrial eruption in the 20th century. The volcano's collapse created a caldera that measured 1.6 miles, or 2.5 kilometers, in diameter. While it started off with shallow depth, abundant precipitation made it rapidly transform into a large lake. These days, it's a popular tourist attraction that is praised for its scenic beauty. Did you know that Mount Pinatubo's eruption blasted countless tons of particulate matter into the atmosphere? Meteorologists say that global temperatures dropped by nearly a full degree Fahrenheit, or half a degree Celsius, in the following years. Mount Katmai, Alaska this crater lake of the huge composite volcano was created during the Novarupta eruption in 1912. Located more than 6,700 feet, or 2,047 meters above sea level, this remote caldera measures about 2 by 3 miles, or 3.2 by 4.8 kilometers. The 1912 eruption was said to be the most spectacular such event recorded in Alaskan history. It's also regarded as the largest volcanic eruption of the 20th century. You can find the lake it created in the southern part of the state at Katmai National Park and Preserve. 
Carid Iceland. Several craters are found in the western volcanic zone of Iceland. At around 3,000 years old, this one is arguably the youngest of the local volcanic craters. It's also regarded as the most popular crater, thanks in part to its unusual hues. Its red volcanic rock really makes the caldera stand out. It offers a vivid contrast to the water, which has an aquamarine color thanks to minerals in the soil. But if you want to see this marvel up close, you'll have to shell out about 400 Icelandic kronas. That's about $3.25 in U.S. currency. Heaven Lake. This one is found on the border of North Korea and China, atop Changbai Mountain at an elevation of nearly 7,200 feet, or 2,189 meters, with a maximum depth of 1,260 feet, or 384 meters. Researchers say it was formed around 946 CE by a volcanic eruption. Also known as Tianchi, this spectacular location is the home of many legends, and that includes its very own version of the Loch Ness Monster. The Lake Tianchi the Anchi monster is a finned seal-like creature that allegedly inhabits the waters. Six of them have been sighted swimming in the lake, but their species have never been positively identified. What do you think they are? Number 1. Crater Lake, Oregon We started this episode with a short explanation of Crater Lakes, and now our number one subject is simply known as Crater Lake. Many people think its striking beauty epitomizes the idea of such a formation. Located in the eponymous National Park, the lake is famous for its vivid blue coloration and deep clarity. At 5 by 6 miles across, or 8 by 9.7 kilometers, it has a maximum depth of 1,949 feet, or 500 194 meters. On that basis, it's the second deepest lake in North America. Experts say it was formed around 7,700 years ago when the volcanic Mount Mazama collapsed. Did you know that this location has been renamed at least three times? Its previous names include Lake Majesty and Deep Blue Lake. Thanks for watching this episode. Did you like the video? Tell us what you think in the comments below. Be sure to like, follow, and subscribe.